Good morning, guys. It's my birthday. And what better day to go for a flight? Let's go. Whiskey taxi back to two left. Turkey 75 Whiskey Affirmative, runway 12, taxi Delta Alpha. Watch two left, taxi Delta Alpha, 75 Whiskey. Obstacle. field strip. It's pretty popular around this area. I don't know. Let's check it out. I figured let's go for a flight, not just, you know, to the dry lake bed. Uh, there's a little town there near there called Baker. It's along the I-15. Uh, they have an actual airport and uh, might just stop in there for the hell of it. So I haven't really got too specific in my, on my plane. Uh, so let me explain what I have. Uh, you may have seen bits and pieces uh, through the previous videos, which I encourage you to watch with some of the modifications I've done. Uh, it's a 2009 RANS S7. It's kind of in between years. It's got parts of a S7S, S7. S7. Uh, it's a long tail, and uh, she's a, a nice flying plane. I got her pretty much for, uh, bone stock. When it was first built, I guess it was put on floats. And uh, they converted it, the owners I bought from converted it to uh, wheels, conventional uh, landing gear. And I put uh, avionics in it, so I've got the GRT uh, Sport EX, and then your basics. Uh, this is a Micro uh, 760 radio from Micro Air, um, and then the basics, turn corner airspeed. You know, your compass, you know. I redid the panel. Originally it was flat face or uh, angle, angle down or flat lane, I guess you could say, uh, which was tough on, on the glare. Uh, so now this is great. No glare. It's, you don't have to reach for it. It's got lights, uh, you know, all the fancy switches. Push start. I, I kind of like that. It's fun. Plan. I put the 29-inch Alaskan Airstreak uh, Bush wheels on or Bush tires, uh, which has uh, been fun to say the least. I know I haven't uh, used them to their full extent yet. And then I, I've got this uh, Spitfire Concepts uh, flap handle. The Rans has their flap handle down between the seat, and uh, it, you're like bending over, getting a hernia, trying to. Uh, trying to pull your flaps. I put an 8 inch wide uh, dual fork uh, Matco tail wheel on for better flotation on the tail. And the Matco wheel is attached to the T3 uh, tail wheel shock uh, system, which has been pretty nice when you drop it in. I redid the baggage compartment. So in these planes, they are uh, not very great. It's just a bag hanging there, a canvas bag. So I put a whole little shelf back there and I moved the battery uh, up towards underneath this shelf. So it also brought the CG forward a little bit because I do have kind of a, a rear CG, an aft CG. S speaking of the battery, I got the EarthX uh, 680, I think, 40 uh, lithium battery, which saved like eight pounds. And I think it's awesome. It's got a lot of cranking power. So right now I'm doing it. I'm chewing out 112. Uh, indicating 98. I call this plane the motorcycle in the sky. You're not getting anywhere super fast, and it's about the, making the stops, find the that places to, to stop at. Making this trip. It's kind of neat out here. It's really nice. 
Uh, there's some buildings over there. I might go walk. I don't want to spend too much time because it's really hot out. I'm down here at, uh, what is it, like 1,200 feet MSL, so it's definitely pretty hot. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check it out. The Bacon Strip Fly-In Ranch. Cool little place, man. Nice little shade structure they put out here. This is awesome. Eat everything in, eat everything in moderation except for bacon. Beware of, beware of desert tortoise. I heart bacon. Let's go get that fan started up. Now I know why they call it the bacon strip. I'm pretty sure I could hear the runway sizzling. It was hot. Yeah, I wanna, let's go down to the Zix. Check it out. So the Zix is a little uh, research facility. It's uh, over here off the, the left. And uh, it's a very interesting place. Apparently some guy escaped out there uh, from taxes and started kind of like a weird church radio thing. And there's a little like spring pond thing there. And, and now it's a research facility, but I used to have hot springs and little hot baths. Uh, pretty interesting little place. I've ridden my motorcycle out there. And uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, I'd be, I think I looked it up. I think this is in BLM, so I can't land there. I can land, I think, like right over here. So I was considering, because this is all dry lake bed out here. So that'd be fun to kind of just pop in and go check it out. I guess I could land and then walk in, but it's too hot. I'm running out of water. I'm going to go where it's colder. Uh, surprisingly, Vegas. I don't know how that's possible. There it is, right down there. So if you guys are in the Vegas area, Southern Nevada area, want to go fly and let me know. Um, or ride for that matter, you know. Just got to get out, make some adventures, create some memories, have some good times. It's really all what it's about. up here back in the hangar gonna go uh, maybe get some breakfast or lunch still pretty early it was a short flight um, but it was cool a little hot get out there when it's cool and enjoy it a little more if you guys uh, could just hit that subscribe and the notification button down there and the thumbs up you know what that does come fly with me come right <laughs>